Okay, dear brothers, uh, uh, thank you everybody uh, for joining today. So last week uh, we studied a few points. Uh, so we'll just revise a few points uh, because this is the last part of Antichrist. So <clears throat> probably uh, next week uh, the Rashish will be discussing a lot of things with you in Nepali language. So you may also feel comfortable to understand this very, very important topic. So last week, what we saw is that we studied about uh, uh, Revelation 13 chapter. See, we all know that Revelation book is not a uh, direct language. It is a symbolic language. We a lot of things are shown in a symbolic way, where the sky is shown. The sky doesn't mean literal sky. Where various beast is shown. So various beast doesn't mean literal beast and all. And uh, it all signifies uh, some things in the Bible. Therefore, for each and every thing in the Bible, there is a symbol so, each and every symbol means uh, something. Like, for example, in your Nepal, if I want to tell you that uh, how do you recognize a police person, a traffic police person, if you see him wearing a light blue shirt and a white hat, uh, you can definitely tell that it's a traffic police. So, that's one of the recognition. That's one of the, you see, uh, a symbol to recognize. And if the traffic police uh, shows the hand like this, that means what? Stop. So, these are all the symbols uh, which we use in day-to-day -day life also. So this is what uh, the Revelation book is written of. Uh. So in the Revelation book, uh, in, the, in first verse, uh, we see that uh, there is a beast that is shown here. So the peculiarity of that beast is it was a very different beast. It had four animals-like uh, character in it. So if you see in that verse, it says that... Uh, uh, the body was like a leopard. Correct, brother? Can anybody read? Can anybody read that verse? Uh, Revelation 13, 1. Anybody who can read? Anybody who can make it fast? Hmm. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Very good, brother. So, it was uh, 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 a beast. Okay. Now, read verse 2, brother. Uh. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power. Okay. And... See, here the four uh, animals I mentioned. Leopard, you see, bear, the lion and the dragon. So if you see, we have seen these four uh, uh, animals in Daniel 7 chapter. So indirectly, this is uh, speaking about uh, the characters of the four universal empire. So we have studied uh, this one in the basic class, in the initial classes also. So what are the four characters uh, that is uh, uh, there among these uh, uh, four universal empire? If you see, the Greece. Uh, they're always uh, famous for knowledge. So the body of this uh, Antichrist was pictured to be like a Greece means it was very intellectual. It was very intelligent. The Antichrist system, you see, the not only the papacy, not only the Roman Catholic system, but the entire church system of the Protestants, including is the Antichrist. Because there is not much difference between the uh, Roman Catholic and the entire Protestant denomination. Only one difference is that they do idol worship in Roman Catholic. In Protestants, they don't do idol worship. But the rest all doctrines are same. So, the great Antichrist system is so wise that uh, even though everybody knows that they are telling lies, we can't catch them red hand. You see, we can't uh, catch hold of them. That is the meaning of the, uh, you see, leopard, uh, body like a leopard. They're very fast. Therefore, you see, in the whole world, the Christianity is there. You go to any village, any remote place in this world, there is a church. Therefore, the body of the leopard is spotted, no? Small, small spots, spots. What does it mean? That means all over, you see, in the whole world, there is a church, you see, a system. There is a church system in the entire, you see, a world. Therefore, dear brethren, this is what it signifies. Okay? Body like a leopard. Then, the hands, uh, like a uh, bear means, uh, you see, a very firm, 
uh, the bear has a very firm grip. Once it decides to capture his enemy, it won't keep quite at any cost. So similarly, this shows none can escape from the great anti-care system. Imagine, like for example, so many people, even after listening to this truth, they want to still, you see, hold on to the clutches of the Babylon. So hold on to the clutches of the false system. Hold on to the clutches of the papacy system. The Roman Catholic and the Protestant denomination. Why? Because that uh, system is like a bear. It won't allow anybody to escape. The third one, the mouth like a lion. Lion means what? You see, it roars. Huh? Its sound can be heard very far. So, the doctrines, the false doctrines, the false proclamation, you see, of the paper system is very loud. You see, even the whole world, they believe, no? What do they believe? Huh? What happens to the soul after death? Krishna brother, what happens to the soul after de death? If man dies, what happens to his soul brother? Go into heaven and hell. Very good. That's not what the Bible says. That is what the system says. That yes, is the, exactly the mouth of the lion. Okay. Muslim brother, what does the Bible say about soul? Uh, soul dies. Very good. See the difference? The soul dies. The Bible says the soul dies. But today, everybody are giving heed into the, the roar of lion. That is the reason mouth is compared to a lion. And the fourth beast who gave the power was the Roman Empire. You see, actually papers did not have any power at all. So who gave the power? Who gave the civil power to rule as kings and kill anybody? It was the emperor of Rome who gave the entire authority to papacy. Uh -huh. Therefore, we see that a head was wounded. We see a deadly wound. In verse 3, but immediately the wound was healed. Why? How? You see, once the Martin Luther uh, revolted, there was an entire great revolution in the entire Germany in one week. But after Martin Luther died, what happened? Uh, this reformation slowed off. The yeah, reformation stopped. Uh, you see? And uh, when Martin Luther printed the Bible in the first page, he had clearly printed in bold letters saying, the Pope is the Antichrist. But today, uh, which Bible has that word? Uh, no Bible. That faded away. That wound upon the head was healed. How? When the Protestants committed the same mistake. What mistake? Hell is a place of torment. Soul doesn't die. Soul after death goes to hell or heaven. You see? Huh? Then the Lord's memorial supper to be taken every now and then, monthly first week, huh? Saturday, uh, taking first month, uh, first of uh, the week. Uh, uh, you see, baptism, you see, Trinity, now God is three, three gods. Uh, uh, Father is equal to Jesus, Jesus is equal to Son, uh, Son is equal to Holy Spirit, and Holy Spirit is equal to God. So all three are one, so so bad. Uh, the confusion. So this wound was healed. So therefore, um, in that uh, you see uh, chapter, he clearly mentions about uh, what will happen to this system. You see that uh, uh, you see uh, last part, important part. Uh, in thirteenth verse, it says, "No, this is the beast that does miracles now, calling even fire from heaven." And uh, doing great wonders before everybody, so that everybody should worship it. Therefore, you see, uh, suddenly there was no, uh, you see, uh, miracles. Huh? See, you just go and observe in the history, church history, you can search it. There was no miracles happening for the last 100 years. Huh? Before 100 years, there was no miracle. But since 100 years, lot of miracle, charismatic movement, healing. Why suddenly? This is the work of the devil. Uh, see, brother, read uh, verse 14, brother. Read verse 14, Revelation 13, 14, brother. Uh. And deceive them that dwell on the earth by the mean of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Ah, uh, you see, deceived everybody. Not blessed everybody, deceived, cheated. <laughs> Everybody, by the means of those miracles, which you did in front of everybody. You see, 
what will happen if something happens in our life a miracle happens we we'll surrender to them only now instead of surrendering to god that is what the system is doing today but we should observe that all these miracles are fake this is not the real miracle then what is the verse say that uh, those who don't have this uh, seal they are not allowed to buy or sell in the market and they come and put the seal upon the forehead and upon their hand yeah, isn't it eh? read uh, verse 16 brother 16th verse ah uh. and he caused all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads mm to receive a mark in the right hand not left hand and on the forehead aha uh -huh. now what happens if they don't have the seal for 17 huh? and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name see only those who have the mark can buy or sell everybody thought uh, that this is literal so only those who have mark will be allowed to sell and buy in the market this is literal mark the hence some people thought that barcode barcode is that mark so everybody should compulsory have barcode or all transactions shall be stopped some people think that this is a memory chip that will be inserted in the hand or in the head if you don't have this mark you can't transact no food will be given imagine huh? what does uh, satan has got to do uh, with we eating food or buying and selling in the market he is not worried about our worldly things uh, these are all worldly matters uh, he knows very well that man doesn't live by bread alone that's what it, jesus told to him no so he knows it he knows the truth he knows man can live only by word of god so he's only really bothered how the word of god should not reach the people so what will he do those who don't have the mark they won't be given spiritual food that's what it means this is not literal food buying rice chicken mutton no this is spiritual food therefore you see what does it say verse 18 uh, read brother now verse 18 here is wisdom let him that has understanding count the number of the beast ah wait brother is... what does it say here is the wisdom see he says here is the wisdom this is not a literal uh, statement here is the wisdom that means you should be wise enough to calculate to understand let him that has understanding count the number of the beast that means uh, you need to calculate the bible itself clearly says count the numbers of the beast then what this is little six ah uh, little triple six ah uh. no we need to calculate bible is clearly telling to calculate the number of the beast that means the beast of revelation 13 chapter which looked like a leopard a lion's mouth hand of a bear has got a number now where is the number is it written on the head no we need to calculate so how do we calculate you see the answer is given there Yeah? the result of that answer you see the result of that question is given there that means the result is 366 but you need to calculate no yeah? how did you come to 366 that is what the bible is giving yeah? you know algebra no in school they'll give the sum no and they'll tell huh? uh, if x plus y is equal to so and so uh, find the value of x and y how do we calculate uh? in algebra there is a formula similarly in bible also there is a formula to calculate triple six uh, how do we calculate he that has wisdom he that has understanding let him calculate you know, tell me jesus speaks about uh, 10 virgins you heard the parable brother everybody heard the parable the parable of 10 virgins yeah we heard ah, correct yes sir. yes good brother now if we are of the wise virgin we will calculate the foolish virgin can't understand it why because the foolish virgins have oil only in the lamp the oil should be also in the vessel the lamp is the bible bible only spirit is there but that holy spirit should be in us now 
Today, Christians have Holy Spirit. Where? Only in the Bible. Yeah, once they go to the church, they will be holy. Once they come out from the uh, church, uh, they will be worldly. Where is the Holy Spirit? You see? Holy Spirit should be in our life. It should be always in us. That is the wise virgin. Uh -huh. You just can't be a virgin and marry Christ. We need to be of the wise class. Those who give importance to Bible study. Those who spend more time in understanding God's words. That's what he says. Huh? Revelation 13, 18. What does he say? Here is the wisdom. Let him that had understanding count the number of the bees. So if you are of the wise virgin, we will surely understand this one. So for it is the number of the man and his number is 666. Okay. Now, how do we come to this triple six conclusion? We have seen this one. Vicarious Philidi. You see? Now, what is this Vicarious Philidi? You see, Pope has got many titles. In last two, three classes, you might have heard. Just please see the YouTube link. Pope has got more than hundreds of thousands of titles. Okay? But where he's got a very, very important title, that is Vicarious Philidi. Now, what is the meaning of Vicarious Philidi? You know? Vicarious Philidi means instead of Christ, this is the very, very important title which Pope always carries upon his head. It is imprinted on the crown which he places upon his head and the entrance of the Vatican City. This literally means that he is instead of Christ on this earth. Okay? Now, if you calculate uh, in this Vicarious Philidi, that uh, number 666 will come. How? See, this is Roman Catholic Church. Roman Empire, the beast who gave the power. So, in Roman numericals, each and every alphabet has a number. Correct, no? Huh? Uh, I think you all have uh, studied in your school. Uh, uh, do they teach in your Nepali school, this Roman numericals, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Nepal uh, also, uh, they we teach. learn. Good. See, in our school also, sir, they are for, taught for, us. Sir, uh -huh. For me, you also represent the fat, sir. Correct. No, no, no. You, see, actually, in Romans, they write you and we and all same. There is no you differentiation. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, the way they write, it's the same. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, and not only this one, brother. The Pope has got various titles. Okay, the majority of the titles in all those things, if you calculate, you'll get triple six. We are just taking only one example for understanding. Okay. Okay, brother, Krishna brother. Yes, sir. Okay. See, in Vicarius, V I C A R I U S. Okay. See, V means five, I means one, C means hundred. A, R doesn't have any number. So it is 0. I means uh, again 1. So U and V and all similar to write. Okay. So it's 5. Yes, is 0. So how much it comes to? 112. Now come to Philly. F, I, L, I, I. F means uh, 0. I means 1. L means 50. I means 1. Again, I means 1. So total how much? 53. Now D, D, E, I. D, E, I means what? Huh? D means 500. E means 0. I means 1. So 501. So total all these things. 112 plus 53 plus 501 is equal to 366. Clear, brother? Krishna, brother? Yes, sir. Okay. So in numer brother, in Roman numericals, I don't have that heliography with me. I'll just search it and send it to you. The V and U, they write they're very similar. So hence, this uh, is uh, very equivalent to V. Okay, brother? Okay, brother, is clear? This ends, this calculate, if you do, yes. it comes triple six. Yes. Okay. But apart from this one also, there are titles also. I'll just uh, search for the list and... Uh, I'll try to send it also. Okay. And so what is the meaning of this uh, six, uh, six, six, six seal? Okay. This is not a literal seal, brother. 
Krishna Buddha, this is not a literal seed. This is uh, a understanding. Okay, this is not a literal beast also. This number is also not literal. This actually means that you are acknowledging the title. Okay, brother. Not that you are acknowledging triple six. You are acknowledging and accepting the title which Pope has kept for himself. That he is instead of Christ. Now, how do we acknowledge that one? Okay. Not that uh, we will come and tell, oh, Pope, I accept you as my father. I love you. No. Okay. Not directly accepting Pope. See, if you believe his teaching, it means that uh, you accept him. Okay. Now, like for example, if I believe the teachings of Jesus, what does it mean? It means that I am his follower. Correct or not? Isn't it correct or not, brother? Yes, sir. Correct. Okay. Now imagine if I start believing the teachings of Buddha. Now what does it mean? It means that I am trying to be their follower. Correct or not? Yes, sir. Similarly, if you start believing the false teaching of this system, it means that I am accepting them. I am following them. Therefore, the understanding which we have in our mind, that itself is a seal which is upon our head. You see, as a like for example, you go and ask any any Christian this question, brother. As we asked brother Krishna, okay, you you ask any Christian, what happens to the soul? They will immediately they will reply, the soul goes to hell and heaven. Why? Because that is imprinted, that is sealed in their mind from childhood, from birth. Every religion, not only Christianity, every religion tells that as soon as a man dies, he goes to hell and heaven. But Bible is the only thing which tells in the opposite direction. That uh, soul dies, everybody will come resurrected back on this earth. So what has happened? This teaching is sealed on their mind, brother. It is imprinted. So no need to, you see, uh, go and follow the priest or a bishop or a pope. You accept the teaching, it is like indirectly supporting them. It is That is what the seal on the mind means. Okay? And what is the seal on their hand means? Uh, that means lending support for the system. You see, whatever support it will be, okay? Uh, let it be financial support. Uh, you see, let it be moral support. Uh, you see, let it be physical support, uh, helping the system in various ways, you know, working for it. All these things uh, are like uh, putting seal on their hand. Uh, you see, if somebody has fallen, uh, we will give her a hand to help them, to lift them up. So what does it mean? Uh, we are trying to help them. Uh, you see, so uh, if we try to help a bad person, yeah, like for a thief or a robber, you see, what does the court give us a judgment? Uh, if a thief murders uh, somebody and we try to help them, what do the court uh, give us a judgment? Uh, they will give us also the same penalty because you have supported him. You have lent his hand for his support. You are also equal and culprit. So same way, if we are supporting this uh, false system, so the false church systems in any way, that means we are putting the seal ourselves in our hand. That seal is also already there. We are acknowledging it. That is what it means. And those who have this seal only will be allowed to buy or sell. Those who don't have the seal, they won't be allowed to buy or sell. Buy or sell means what? Spiritual food. If you want to speak doctrine, first accept these doctrines. What doctrines? The soul doesn't die. It goes to hell or heaven. Then Trinity. You accept this doctrine, then come and preach in our church. People will ask, no, which denomination you belong? What is your faith? Uh, do you believe in Trinity? Huh? Do you believe in the soul dies? Do you believe in hell? Huh? Come take the um, Lord's Supper every monthly once. Huh? They tell now. Why? This is their... Huh? What? Uh, this is their main teaching. Sir. So only those who believe these things will be allowed to preach in the church. Or else they won't be allowed to preach in the church at all. That is the meaning. 
buy and sell. Or else, you won't be allowed. What does difference does it make whether we are allowed to preach in this earth or not? The main thing is that we should sit with Christ and rule. And who will sit with Christ and rule? Read Revelation 20, chapter, verse 4. Read, brother, somebody. Brothers, read anybody. Mahasam, brother, Krishna, brother. Okay, brother. And I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheld for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God and See? which had they the were, the peace. One minute, brother. They were beheaded for word of God. That means they did not have their own head. They renounced their head. They took Jesus as their head because of word of God. And next, and which? Uh, and which had not worshipped the beast. Ah, which had not worshipped the beast. What do you mean by worship the beast? Uh, following the teachings. Uh, you see? Believing the teachings. Uh, then, uh, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Ah, and they lived. Neither did they receive their mark upon their forehead. They did not accept the teachings. They did not support the system in any way. Ah, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Only they will live, underline, and rule with Christ for a thousand years. If you want to rule with Christ for a thousand years, we need to come out of this system. If you are still in the system, forget about ruling with Christ. So we should never have that mark at any cost at all. So the mark which we should have on our head is the character of our Almighty God, the one and the supreme creator. Read, brother. Revelation 14, 1. Hmm. And I looked and a lamb stood upon the mountain Sion and with him an hundred forty and forty four thousand having his father name written in their foreheads. Very good. So one lakh and forty four thousand, you see, huh? what is written on their head, brother? Whose name is written? Father's name. Father's name. Where, where, where? I can't see father's name on my head. This is not literal name. Head means what? We tell now, you don't have head at all. What do you mean by that one? What does it mean? Tell me, I'm asking you a question. What does it mean? If somebody tells you don't have head, what does it mean? Yeah, no. Knowledge. Knowledge yeah. wisdom. Yes, wisdom, understanding. Hindi mein bolte hai na. Ab ka kya budhi nahi hai kya? Dimaag nahi hai kya? Sarv firgara kya? Bolte hai na Hindi mein. They're called in Hindi, no? Head means what? Understanding, you see. So, this uh, understanding uh, we should have. Uh, uh -huh. So, whose name is written on the head? Father's name. That means the character of God. You see. Now, do, does God believe lie? No. Huh? Correctly tell me, brother. Does God believe no. lie? He doesn't. He doesn't. So similarly, should we believe a lie? If we believe a lie, then there won't be the name that's of Father. Right. Uh, that's all. So believe the truth. That is the seal we should have in our mind. Okay. Remember the class? Uh, ten silver coins. We taken the class now, brother. Mosam, brother, you listen now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ten said the woman had ten coins. So all the ten coins should be there on the head. Mind. Okay. Krishna brother, you I think you also heard the subject. Ten silver coins. Yes, sir. Okay. Any 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 further questions, any doubts you have still? No, sir. Okay. So go through the notes. So next week. I will read it. After that, I'll question, sir. Uh, definitely. You ask brother. Any questions we open for discussion. And next week, brother uh, Ashish will be 
revising the entire antichrist in nepali language for your clear understanding and better understanding okay next week sir next week okay 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 then 